Hello everybody, welcome back to Chibi Robo. So, we discovered a lot last episode. There was a giant version of Chibi Robo living in the basement. Well, kind of living in the basement. He was making uh, weird sounds. He was practicing trombone in the basement, apparently. We also met a bunch of egg rangers who were obsessed with trying to kill the dog for some reason. Yeah, just a whole lot of stuff. Anyhow, it's nighttime again. And now that we got the cash, we can buy some more stuff. So, we, at this point, we probably should buy either the charge chip or the range chip. I think that the range chip is a little better than the charge chip. The charge chip is useful later on in the game, but the range chip is use, useful for shooting things that are too far away for you to shoot now. So I think that's a good idea. And actually, can we buy both? No, we can't. We're just a little short on buying the charge chip. But we'll come back later for that. You've upgraded! Keep it up, Chibi Robo, and let's go! Tally, you're making a dump everywhere. This is not a dump, girl. This is my house. You can't just throw trash around on the floor in my house. Alright, back to the living room. Something fell! Oh! Hey look, it's the Chibi Robo Chibi Manual! It's kind of like the game manual, if you need to know some of the controls for Chibi Robo. You can go ahead and read that. Oh hey, it's Drake Redcrest, the guy whose voice I can't do. <laughs> I looked over the video, and oh my gosh, my voice for him doesn't even sound what I, like what I thought it would. If one wants to patrol, one must pose, mark it, and never forget it! I was, should I just give him, like, the... Well, I, I can't even ask people if I should do it. Because they won't be able to answer before I record more. Should I give him, like, the manly voice? Good morning, Space Hunter Chibi Robo. But that doesn't sound anything even close to, like, his chatter voice. I don't really know what to do. It's a bit of a bind. Space Hunter Code Part 3! Never neglect your patrol! That, I'm just sticking with this voice. Patrol with me! Patrol for justice! Sure. Ha 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 ha! Then we ride! Amazing Force Shield of Forcefulness! Can he actually create a shield? Even though he's an action figure? Space Hunter Chibi Robo, be on your guard! This world still crawls with dangerous danger! Stay within this Force Shield and follow me! So the first thing you're gonna want to do. Oh, well, okay. Darn it! Takes too long to pick up her plug. Hold, Hunter! You left the Force Shield! Well, it's a common error among beginners. Not to worry, not to worry. But if you wish to maintain peace, you must try harder. Tomorrow we ride again. Space Hunter Drake Red Quest just gave you uh, two happy points. Spread the happiness. Oh, God. It. <laughs> Bro. Okay, let's try this again. Can I patrol again? Because there are parts where he runs and you want to be holding your plug so you can follow him. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Hello, Space Hunter Robo! Your excitement is indeed impressive, but it seems that the living room is currently in a state of bocopicism. That is a word, right? Ha 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 ha! Of course it is! Irregardlessness, I shall leave you in charge of tomorrow's patrol, Space Hunter Chibi Robo. Darn it. Whatever, dude. I was trying to pick up my plug. I couldn't have my plug picked up when I talked to him either, because that he may, I need to pose in order to talk to him. And apparently if you pose, you have to drop your plug, so... That's not good. To the foyer. No, Jenny's crying. Oh, poor girl. Cheers on the battlefield. <laughs> Why was that so slow? Cheers! I can't believe it. 
Well, let's try to find our way up to Jenny. Ow. Come here, ribbit. Well, thank goodness they have these little steps for us to go up. But there's no more steps now. Ribbit. Hello, Hello bit. Jenny, what are you doing up? Go back to your room and go to sleep. Ribbit. Oh. Night, Ribbit. Chibi Robo! What are you doing? Aha! I see you're trying to reach the second floor. But these stairs are a problem, aren't they? There's nothing here that you can use as a ladder. Well, there are ways, but you'll need some special equipment. I'll look into it for you. Goodbye. Thanks, Telly. Well, there's a chibi door up here. Oh, this means we can... <laughs> if we go here, we can actually go back and buy the charge chip if we want to. Ooh, money, money, money. <laughs> oh yeah, we totally have enough for the charge chip now. Look. What are the free rangers up to? Listen up, soldier! With Jenny and General Sanders in patrolling the premises, we can't conduct our operations! The men aren't getting the training they need! It's not just that, Ivor! General Sanders is being a coward! It's enough to make this soldier sick! It's an officer's duty to be a hard-boiled example for the troops! If it were up to me, I'd have him court-martialed! I'm Tex. We're all awfully fond of Jenny and General Sanderson. Okay, that's great. Private Frisco on duty, sir. We can't train when the family is around. Oh, it is Toy Story rules. Alright, well... I could go back to the basement, but I think I'm gonna get the charge chip first. I also like how the type of floor you're walking on has a different sound effect for your footsteps. Hey, Drake Redcrest, you butt. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you pick up your plug, Chibi Robo. <laughs> You've just gotta be fast enough. <laughs> I should have followed him until he stopped. That's actually kind of bad. Anyhow, Chibi House. Your energy is full. That's just your happy point total. I only got like two. Your chibi ranking has gone from 803 to 799. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 279 more happy points. Oh, you're here, chibi. What would you like to say? No. Charge chip, please. Now our Chibi Blaster is really good. You've upgraded Keep It Up Chibi Robo M. Let's go! Telly, so help me. I'm getting happy points for throwing these away, and you're losing them for making them. Come on, bro. Alright, well now that we've got the blaster, I mean... The Chibi Blaster, we could have done this without the charge chip and the range chip, but now that we have both, I'm gonna go outside. Outside's kind of dangerous, because there are, like, no outlets. So you kind of need a decent-sized battery before you can go out. 
first person mode and... <laughs> I like first person mode, it's great. Yipes! Didn't do it! Wasn't me! Don't deactivate me! Hey, I didn't break the window, I just destroyed the sticker that was taped over the broken window. The dad's like, it's too expensive to actually fix the window, let's just put a sticker over it. No one will ever know. Give me that money. Backyard. Looks pretty nice. And oh dear. Eesh, she's all dehydrated and shriveled. It hasn't rained lately and it looks like she's really weak. This is so distressing. We have to get her some water. Unfortunately, we can't give her water yet. We need a special new tool for that, which we don't have access to. There is water there, but we can't actually transport it over to her. <laughs> the music in those doors is so weird. There's also the tree here that we can climb because its bark is in the shape of a perfect ladder! Isn't that convenient? And there's another frog ring. Jenny will be happy for that. See, it's like little things like this where you can climb the tree, then climb up the swain to higher up on the tree. It's, ah, the, the world building is so good. The, the, the world design is just fantastic. Another chibi door here. I wonder if like only we can see these. I'm not complaining though, because it's, it's fun game design. Okay, so this you actually do need the charge chip for. So to do the charge stick, you gotta hold. And there we go. So if you want to go higher up in the tree, yeah, you do need the charge stick. Because a normal blast ain't gonna cut it. Hey, it's a bird! How's it going, man? He's in a deep sleep! If he doesn't move, we can't get to the other side. That's like barely worth picking up. That's really all we can do in the backyard. So I guess let's go back down to the basement. Maybe Captain Plankbeard will be willing to tell us his story. Oh, but first someone's dropping. Actually, Twigs outside is perfectly normal. But I can get more happy points. to the living room. Alright, well we destroyed the window, so maybe we should get some happy points back. You got a total of 21 happy points. You got 210 million. Sweet. Thanks for that. Oh, hey. Free Rangers are now training again. That's interesting. 
Pak klonk. Your energy is full. Are you going to save? Uh, no. Ready, then let's go. Oh, I guess because Jenny's no longer in the room, they're like, cool, we can train. Hey, is that our photo? I mean, yeah. It was just hanging out right where you were earlier. Don't take my photo. We took this back when we were first deployed at the Sanderson house. General Sanderson took this photo. We were a full platoon then. That was before the incident. We were doing our daily physical training routine. I had two eyes back then. gotta be done! We have to train harder so that one day we will win the war against the Great Beast! We need to make sure we never lose another ranger in battle! Thank you, Chibi Robo! You've helped me remember my true purpose! Sarge just gave you 20 happy points! Spread the happiness! All of the free rangers took 50 away from you because they're not very happy that they're gonna be training harder. <laughs> so that's kind of- so this whole thing with the free rangers is actually a side quest in the game. This game is almost entirely side quests and then like one part of the main- and then there's like one thing that's the main story. But we're just kind of do- gonna do a little bit of everything as we go along. And hopefully it'll all turn out even. Or as close to even as we can get. Foolish chatter. You're a cheating lion demon crab! Wait, this is kind of the Sarge voice. I need to do the pirate voice instead. Um, why couldn't I do the pirate voice there? You're a cheating lion demon crab. Cheating how moved! You failed because your soul has not been properly cleansed. Do you take me for a brainless piece of kelp? I know you decide whether your eye opens or closes, you filthy bilge rat! That is untrue. A person who had pure soul would be able to see this clearly. This doll is creepy as all get out. Me soul's as clean to the waters as the Shanty Pete's Blessed Harbor. Yar, one more time, you scurvy scum. There's no way the Kino Pirates is a losin' to some half-baked sea cucumber. Get on with it, you scallywag! How frightening! What the heck is this thing supposed to be? 
Like, it's a doll of some kind, but like, oh my gosh, this thing is terrifying. It's like wearing goggles. It's got like massive lips. It's got uh, four hands and two feet. Seriously, what is this? Is this like a tea kettle that's come to life? It's got like a kettle head and also a mustache. This is, oh, this thing is bizarre as all get out. Very well, I shall begin. Everything is nothing. Reach out with your soul. Feel. Let it flow to my right eye. Will it open or will it remain closed? What do you feel? Will it open? Last time it was your port side, Peeper. The time before that starboard. Yar! Ye shall open the eyes, says I. Are you certain? As certain as the tides do ebb and flow, it'll open, I tell ye. You're with me, ain't ye? I mean, he, yeah, he's eventually going to open the eye. <laughs> Gar, of course you are. Are you certain? You heard me, pirates, word as good as me gold. Very well. Tell me that's not terrifying. Come on. It opened! Yar! <laughs> Yar, it opened, I tell ye. But it's your left eye. How unfortunate. Don't play dumb, you miserable lifeboat leech. You're nothing but a liar and a thief. Grr. That's what you get for gambling, bro. Great Pico! More great, like great Cheeto! Arr, I'll have you clapped in irons and keel hold! You're lucky I'm without me ship, you great blinkin' sea slug! I've had me fill of ye! So this weird monstrosity is called the Great Pico. And ugh, he is creepy. <laughs> Another sucker! I mean, oh, dear me, your soul is unclean. Will you cleanse your soul? I'm not going to cleanse my soul by gambling. Mm, I see. Farewell, soulless one. You're the worst. Ah, there he is. Ahoy there, Chibi. It's good to see ya, laddie. Been long and long it has. It's only been a few hours, actually. So you've come to hear this old salt's tale, have ye? All right, sit ye back and get ready for a whale of a tale. Hold on. I'm here to keep my promise, too. Ahoy there, squid bait. You're looking ship shape today. Squid bait? Squid bait? Hi, squid bait. Now simmer down. What I'm about to tell ye happened many years ago, when the world was young. That fateful day, I found a doubloon gleaming like a wee lassie's eyes. And the salty scourge of the seas that I was. 
I decided to seize this shiny treasure for myself. Oh, a pretty treasure it was. However, the Sandersons were so poor you could hear their bellies rumbling like thunder. Gigarobo blamed himself for their troubles, I he did. Every pirate swears to be as evil as a barnacle in the bed. It be our code. But I couldn't even steal one measly doubloon. Gar, a foul humiliation it was. As you know, pirates who are evil end up at theme parks. It be terrifying. <laughs> I hit me ship and confined myself in the briny dark of the basement. This game has great, oh, such a quirky and fun humor. <laughs> Yar, does Anderson's be out of moolah and can't be buying food? I'm betting they be. Dead! <laughs> it has such a quirky and fun sense of humor, though, even though it's kind of a serious game. <laughs> Um, actually, the Sanderson's family is doing just fine. They might not be rich, but they were at least able to buy us. And we're not exactly bargain basement items, if I do say so myself. Gahar, what's that you be saying? So they'd not be in trouble if I'd claimed the moolah I found as me own? I heard that Mr. Sanderson hasn't been working and finances are kind of tight. But if it's just a little, it's not a problem. <laughs> yar, har, har. Do you know what this means? I'm no longer bound to this dank backwater. There's treasure in this house, laddies, and I means to find it. Hoist the mainsail, me hearty. The music cues in this game are so good. Main sail. Uh, don't you need a ship first? Shiver me timbers! I've forgotten. I've not a dini to me name. I put me ship in dry dock so as to keep her safe, but. Me head's full of fog and me ship's lost. You're me only hope, Chibi. I want you to find me ship and bring her home. A pirate in need is a pirate who gets what he wants. <laughs> That's the pirate's code, you see. That doesn't seem right somehow. <laughs> Don't think so, eh? You fancy yourself a great thinker, don't ya, you, you flying shum bucket? If you're half as keen as you think, you'll keep your blowhole shut. Pirates are not accustomed to waiting. Now go find me ship. Y yes, sir. Uh, Captain, Captain, sir. Whew. Let's go look for the ship, Chief Robo. I'll go on ahead and scout around. All right. Well, we can actually do more in the basement now that we got the Chibi Blaster and the Range Chip. <laughs> now that we got the Chibi Blaster and the Range Chip. 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 The Chibi Blaster and... Why is that not working? Oh, do I have to see this cutscene first? Blaster and take it with Genie Vision. Yeah, yeah, okay. So apparently it's being held up by a teddy bear sticker. Mind where you aim that scene, laddie. Might not be seeing anyone hurt by your careless ways. Whatever, bro. Now we can climb up the basement. Oh, hello, beautiful lady. <laughs> candy wrapper on a shelf in the basement and I did nothing about it. What's this? 
It's gunpowder? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna blow some stuff up. Just pull that one out a little bit so you don't get uh, thrown off the brick. Whoop! This can be a little precise. You gotta hover inside the bird cage. And if we land on the road, then we get a shortcut up here. What are you doing, Chibi? Tis a dangerous game me be playing. Yar! What be this? Hi, I see! You're searching for Giga Robo's Giga Charger! Chibi me lad, you're a slippery fish to get a handle on. Gah, har, har, har. Oh, wait, no, I, I, I want the cop. These are some precise hovers. One roll and step, and uh, yeah, you're you're falling. There's the giga charger down there. However, there are nails in our way. We could potentially hover around them, but it's kind of tricky to do. Not to mention, there's some chibi doors up here. Although I am running a little low on energy. Let's hover down here onto this shelf. We got ourselves a frog ring again. Man, Jenny's gonna be happy. We have two of them now. Ooh, look at all that cash. Oh, we got a lot of cash. If you like, or if the camera is currently like stuck against the wall and you can't see Chibi Robo, you see his silhouette like through it. It's a really nice touch. All right, but now we actually need the Giga Charger. And again, if you want to look around, use Chibi Vision. Let's hover down to this shelf. And here's the Giga Charger. Which is way bigger than us. Giga Charger. Yar, that be it, says I. Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to Salem once more? Yeah. Ah, Chibi. You're such a... I got one thing for you to remember. Don't use that outlets in the house when you fill her up. You'll be drawn so much power, the poor Sanderson's will go bankrupt. Causing the family hardship wouldn't sit well with Gigarobo. Ain't that right? You giant can opener! Oh, such a tragic character. Yar, I almost forgot! Gigaro will be missing a leg, and no peg leg neither. If me memory serves, Captain Sanderson put it in a queer sort of treasure chest. Sort of a steel trunk with a handle. Oh, I 
have a suitcase. Who put an empty can of soda? Man, this this family this family's filled with slobs. Empty can. Always put refuse in a proper receptacle. Man, this that no the house. You know the phrase the house is going to hell in a handbag. Yeah, that's this house. I mean, I know they're not rich, but like, I mean, they can afford a mini robot. Well, kind of afford a mini robot. <laughs> the dad certainly thought that they could afford a mini robot. <gasps> <laughs> Missed that one. <laughs> Back to the foyer. Okay, someone threw this candy wrapper on the floor, like, tonight. The dad must have been like, time for a midnight snack. <laughs> Let's just throw this on the floor. Jimmy Robo will clean it up. It's like, I mean, well, yeah, that is my job, but, like, that doesn't mean you should throw stuff on the floor, bro. Come on. more we can do in the kitchen. I see those cookie crumbs near Tao's dish, but I'm not picking them up. Apparently also this family just lives off of cookies, because that's like the only food you find as trash are cookie crumbs. And candy wrappers, I guess. Ah, ah, that kind of scared me a little bit. Hi, Sophie. Just thinking about being near Drake makes me nervous. That's why there's no way I can confess. After all, I'm just a woman who gets used as a dog's plaything. I'm nothing. Well, don't scare me like that again, jeez. Is there an outlet back there? No, I don't think so. Why does she have such big lips? I mean, I know she's a dog toy, but like... Seriously, it's a little freaky. No. <laughs> There's still more of the kitchen over here we haven't explored. Oh, look, soda cans. Oh, hey, baby. You like the way I pose? Yeah. Don't startle me like that. And don't dress up like my celebrity crush. <laughs> Maybe I should give her just a Muppet boy, though. <laughs> Maybe I should give her like the Fozzie Bear voice. Ah, waka waka. <laughs> that was terrible, Fozzie. But it's better than my Kermit voice. Oh no, I should do sh Swedish chef voice. <laughs> You can climb up here and this is like, eh. Well, there's stains for you to clean up. Yeah. It's just grease up above the kitchen fan. Yuck. Oh, this is nasty. I'm not sure if you actually get anything from doing this. I don't think you do. Someone threw a bunch of just iced tea and juice cans on here. Do people actually buy juice in cans? I know like people buy soda in cans, but I've never heard of people... And I know they sell juice in cans, but I'm just like, I haven't seen anybody actually buy those in my life. Alright, Tao. 
stop eating damn cookie crumbs. Or maybe I should say, start eating them cookie crumbs. Well, there are no bloody paw prints anywhere, so that's a recent improvement. Thanks for some small favors, Tao. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be around 45 minute videos. Roughly every episode. <laughs> because it's 15 minutes of gameplay and then a half hour of cutscenes. Thanks, Chibi Robo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's dreaming about me. That's interesting. I've already started this with my memory banks, but I think you should read it. Mm, okay. I'm not actually going to read it all. This Chibi Manual. Thank you for purchasing Chibi Robo, a member of the Citrusoft Robotics family. We appreciate your support. Chapter 1 Chibi Robo and you. Chibi Robo rankings, bonus batteries, Chibi gear, Chibi tools, changing suits, utilibots. Oh, here we go. This is the one thing we haven't covered. Chapter 7 Utilibots. Chibi Robo is very eco conscious, and so one of his primary functions is to collect scrap from around your house and recycle it into Utilibots. While you will not see the scrap being recycled into Utilibots, please be assured that they are constructed in an environmentally friendly manner, entirely out of recycled products inside the Recyclotron in the Chibi House. There are three kinds of Utilibots Ladder, these help Chibi Robo reach high places. Warp, these carry Chibi Robo to far off places. Bridge. These help Chibi Robo claw across large gaps. Studying hard, Chibi Robo. Glad to see it. Oh, cool. Yeah, Utilbots are very useful for searching like the higher parts of the room. So like, the living room has a ton of stuff above the ground floor, but you need a ladder in order to reach it. We hope that you enjoy the Chibi Robo experience trademark for many years to come. Welcome to the family. That would be a little more um, inviting if that wasn't also the phrase that Five Nights at Freddy's uses. Or at least for the second game. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mm, delicious. <laughs> also, I love um, the like voice clips the dad has, like the meatball, bougie. Like some of them can sound like she's dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> ah, Drake Redcrest, you and your stupid patrol. He's like, I saw you take that coin. How dare you! People be still be throwing waste paper in the f not fireplace. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Way to go! I think we can call it a day. I'm proud of the work we've done. Back to the Chibi House. Oh! Good morning! Let's adjust your happy point total. Your Chibi ranking has gone from 799 to 648. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 219 more happy points. If you're ever going to become Super Chibi Robo, you'll need some advice, namely mine! Cross small gaps using the Chibi Copter. I already knew that. Really, all you have to do is press A. That makes you fly horizontally for a short while. Oh! Now just take out the Giga Charger you're carrying with you. Yes, that's it. Look at that! It's already bigger than you are, Chibi Robo. It's pretty heavy. Let's set it up over there. You know what that means? You can finally recharge the Giga Battery! While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? Yes, this time I actually will save. 
And that's where we're going to leave this episode for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in next time for more Cheat Your Own Fun. It's daytime, and I'm hoping something big is going to happen as soon as we start the next episode. Look forward to that. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.